Hey, hi all, uh, Sadiq here. Uh, we have been talking about uh, the Excel FP templates for those of you who are committed to QPFP certification program and pay the payment in full. So, and uh, you know, many of you have come back to our team and asked uh, what really is Excel FP templates? Okay, or uh, Excel FP software and how does it really work? And uh, this uh, particular demo videos to give you a glimpse of what XLFP templates or software is all about and uh, what you'll be really getting out of uh, this, okay? So XLFP stands for Excel Based Financial Planning Templates, okay, XLFP. And uh, 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 basically this is a set of integrated uh, Excel templates, uh, which at the end of the uh, at the end of uh, uh, you know this whole exercise uh, with uh, the uh, the entire uh, workbook uh, you'll be able to come up with a with a fabulous uh, you know well structured comprehensive financial plan or a financial blueprint as you may want to call it or a roadmap for your clients okay so just to use a quick snapshot of how the plan comes out uh, and uh, uh, then I'll get into the Excel. Okay, so this is a comprehensive financial plan, uh, which uh, which actually comes out. You know, when you hit the print button in the Excel, uh, you actually get this kind of a uh, uh, plan, right? So this is the plan, uh, the table of contents, a letter to your client. Uh, you know, what are the family goals and dreams? Uh, you have. Uh, financial you know the planner comments and goals goal funding map then some interesting info infographics and graphs uh, we have a one-year action plan at the end of the day the clients want to know what do I need to do tell me that okay uh, then the product recommendations uh, you have in place the current financials okay so the whole uh, plan is structured in okay what is your current situation what is your future uh, goals and dreams and what you need to do about this okay it's all structured in one place at uh, in a very neatly uh, formatted way cash flow statement and income expenditure statements net worth statement uh, the current general insurance policies the client has the current life insurance policies the current deposits the current mutual funds okay current equity portfolio then we hit the uh, future goals and uh, future goals where we do some assumptions then we talk about life insurance needs uh, general insurance needs contingency funding uh, children's future marriage education uh, retirement corpus house purchase international vacation car purchase then we do the live cash flows of the client and we end with a disclaimer and disclosure okay so that's uh, that's what is the plan all about uh, and we have the data gathering form which i'll show you in the excel sheet so basically so there's a 36 page plan which comes out of this entire uh, uh, exercise and this whole thing can be done in xlfp uh, templates or a software you know it's a kind of quasi software but uh, it, it almost works like a software okay all right so uh, let me give you a, a quick background about how this whole thing came about okay I was doing my own uh, uh, financial planning way back in 2009 and 10 okay and uh, that time the way financial plans were prepared where uh, there was uh, there was this uh, you know uh, Excel uh, you know templates uh, loosely defined Excel templates then we had the uh, Word document then we had the PPD okay where I as a planner I used to do all my workings in uh, Excel sheet uh, then uh, you know put that into uh, uh, a Word documents when I was sending it as a plan to my uh, uh, to my client and then we used to put the whole thing in PPT to present it to the client okay uh, as a nice uh, presentation so I thought there's just too much of wastage of time and energy in this whole process so we had to come out with a way where the entire uh, you know exercise of uh, Excel uh, presentation everything has to combine together in one place and that's how this whole XLFP got created way back in 2000. Uh, 9 and 10 okay and uh, you know I've made like uh, at least 25 odd uh, financial plans uh, you know 
uh, you know, charging a fees of 15,000 to 30,000 rupees. Uh, and way back in 2000, uh, you know, 10, uh, 9, 10, right? That, that is quite a lot of money that time. And even now, in fact, okay? So, so this works, okay? This works. And, uh, you know, the kind of wow factor which it uh, creates in front of your clients is just amazing. You know, clients are like... Uh, uh, you know, wow, the, you have put my whole financial life together in one place for me to look and, uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, introspect and start working on it. Okay, And more than the client, you yourself, you know, when you are working on client, you want to have the entire piece put together at one place so that you are able to give him like, some real solid solutions and uh, with uh, proper uh, uh, you know proper analysis okay so now how this xlfp templates work so uh, basically it's a uh, it's it's a combination this uh, xlfp is a combination of like uh, 30 um, i think 35 40 odd excel sheets combined in one workbook okay and everything is integrated it's all interlinked uh, you know one, one sheet is linked to the another sheet uh, and one sh uh, the another sheet is linked to another sheet so that you have a uh, you save time on uh, doing analysis again and again uh, and you know de inputting data again and again okay so it start with this data gathering form which is a very comprehensive form in itself uh, you know just about almost everything that the client's financials uh, needs to be captured gets captured in data gathering form okay and uh, then there is a cover the same thing whatever you saw in the word document a pdf document the same thing is here uh, so that when we hit the uh, print button uh, and it's all formatted in a way that when you hit the print button it comes out as a nice pdf okay so this is the cover this is the letter okay contents execute the same stuff okay which we saw in the pdf it's here we just input the things mostly we input the things in the data gathering sheet and it's all then whatever you enter in data gathering sheet it gets linked to the specific so for example in in uh, the data gathering sheet we mentioned that your children's age is 14 years so that 14 years age gets captured in the children's sheet automatically it's all interlinked okay uh, then the funding the graphs are all here nicely put up action plan all right okay then we have the cash flow statement the net worth and stuff like that okay you see there are like you know lots of uh, uh, sheets which are all like interlinked with each other okay now you see uh, it's all um, suppose household expenses you don't have to input household expenses again in the life insurance sheet it gets captured so whatever you have done before you don't have to input it again into another sheet okay uh, so most of the data gathering happens one time and it all gets wherever it's required in the rest of the sheets it gets captured there okay uh, general insurance rates contingency child one child two you see a present value of the this this gets captured from the data gathering sheet okay so almost you know when we come to proper analysis uh, almost all the data is pre-captured and then you just have to put your strategy in place house your car then we we go on to preparing a life cash flow for our clients uh, cash flow is you know the basis friends basis of all your recommendation you know so there's an interesting way of doing uh, life cash flow, which is, you know, very logical in nature. So we do the life cash flows for, you know, you want to do it for like five years, 10 years, whatever it is. But first three to five years should be falling in place. Okay. Then we have an acknowledgement and feedback form. Okay. Then apart from this, there are uh, a host of, uh, you know, if I were to unhide, uh, these are all sheets which are seen right now. If I have to unhide things, there are, you know, few more sheets which are put up, right? Which, uh, you know, based on case to case basis, based on client situation, you actually go about uh, using them. So, so that's, uh, that's, I don't want to get into unhide, uh, hidden sheets in this. There are quite a lot of hidden sheets which we use based on client to client situation. Okay. So what we do after this, once we have done all this, uh, all we have to do is go to the file and, uh, print and uh, it will ask you okay should I save it as a PDF you hit it as a PDF 
you save it as a PDF and you you get the uh, okay see here it's it's all you you want to make sure that you save it as PDF and you get it all as a PDF okay pages all range okay so you can select the entire workbook and hit it as a PDF okay so that's how it is uh, structured and it's all formatted in a way that you can straight away hit the uh, print button and more interestingly you can you know you you can put your own logo it's a uh, white labeled it's not something which uh, you know uh, where network fp logo comes it's there as a this but you can always put in your own logo your own name so prepared by sadik nilgund it can be prepared by your name instead of network fp logo you put in your own logo okay so so this is uh, uh, you know the whole uh, plan and uh, just to give you uh, this uh, I had uh, network FP actually became very popular because of this uh, particular uh, workshops which we used to do in 2011, 12, and 13 when we started network FP. And uh, then, frankly, I, I I really got busy with building the organization, doing various events, and uh, you know, then the certification programs and all that stuff. So I really, uh, you know, and it was taking up a lot of my time. Okay, so. I kind of uh, hived it off uh, and just kind of it took a back seat and it's it's now time to relaunch it I felt that uh, you know this is the need of the R and um, uh, it's time to relaunch uh, this entire uh, XLFP uh, tool uh, you know templates along with a workshop so we are going to be launching it somewhere in February March and it's going to be priced at 19,500 rupees or somewhere around that or 20,000 rupees and uh, those of you who are uh, uh, going to commit to QPFP uh, program uh, full uh, uh, you know uh, entirely uh, and uh, you know because you're going to be learning uh, quite a lot of stuff at the end of the day you you want to make a very comprehensive and we have been teaching about having those 100 to 200 ideal clients you want to be doing comprehensive work for uh, these people now irrespective of whether you want to charge fees or you want to earn through commissions that's perfectly okay okay so as long as you you are having this consultancy model where you are doing end-to-end -end solutions for your clients it's always good to uh, have this kind of uh, uh, you know uh, um, this kind of uh, offering uh, to your clients so so those of you who uh, wish to have this uh, uh, in place uh, and uh, you see value in this you you think you want to learn this this can add value to your clients just come on board and uh, you know we, we are going to uh, uh, have some great learning which is going to impact both your practice and your uh, clients so thank you so that's all I wanted to convey thank you very much